Hey, hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. I am Mr. Babel, and I am back with the Deponia finale. Keep off Deponia. It's called Deponia Doomsday. There's no unsaved progress to lose. I have not played this yet. The end was never our creation. Oh, okay. It was there all this time. Yeah, that's what all they all say when the end comes. It. The same way a surfer tempts fate. Or tempts a shark by trying to outswim it. <laughs> he didn't even try. A for effort. No, we no way for effort. We crafted spears against beasts, built walls against spears, ladders against walls, and towers against ladders. After that, we built boats, ramparts, chimneys, shaving foam pie catapults, and when all our trash threatened to swallow even our highest spires, we built... a spaceship. Powered by nothing less than the destruction of our own planet. The preparations took decades. What was meant to be an ark became a home. My home. Elysium. None of us ever thought there were thousands of clueless survivors down in that trash. Our bastion of hope became a herald of doom for Deponia. Fortunately, the tables turned. One of those clueless people foiled the plan. <laughs> he saved Deponia and all who were left behind. And he saved me by falling for me. Literally. The end. Oh, well. Oh. Thanks for. Oh, never mind. Oh, you don't like this ending? Still hoping for something more upbeat? Well, it's like I said. Endings and sharks. Don't tempt them. Though, I've got to admit, even after all this time, I, I keep asking myself, if I was able to turn back time, what would I change? What would be the better ending? Or do I just want it to never end? Yeah, they're not exactly being subtle about it. From what I've heard, this game is... I mean, I haven't heard bad things, but I've heard it's kind of a smarmy retort to all the people who were saying that 3 was not enough closure, they needed more. That the story was not over, and they wanted more this when the place was pure hell. Who am I kidding? The way it wasn't these days. I had to leave old Jeremiah behind. His own damn fault. I'd have to give it to him. He was as fast as they came at changing the tire. But he was too damn slow at getting me a slushy. At least we shook those ravening few rocks. I had to hurry. Here's another junk press. New tutorial, blah, 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 blah. The Edward Snowman was no beauty. It was all I had left. Edward Snowman. Two years following Finland, blah blah blah. Ladder. They already the did Edward that. Was... Click the ground to move around. Down, down to Goblin Town. Spray can? I didn't at first, but now I see it. If you'd stuck it off in the snow far away from the building, it would have been the first thing I saw. Should I spray can and lighter? Okay. What? No swishy, swishy hand motions? Animation? Cool. The Organon had sealed the door to the blast tower. As if to say, if anyone is going to blow this planet to hell, then it's going to be us. What a joke. Some punk had sprayed no hope on the blast tower door. <laughs> Tell me something I don't know. No, that clue says Gachiothor. You can't read, Lucas. Okay. Ladder. Can't fast travel the objects. Son of a biscuit. Even the box. 
box with the emergency blowtorch was frozen shut. Pretty damn ironic. So I use a little flamethrower to get the big flamethrower. Good. That was the tutorial. Thank you very much. Alright. What is... I don't even want to know. I do not know. What is this, like, director commentary? No. It's repeating the tutorial. Yeah, oh wait. I want to see the tutorial through, but I thought it was through. The days of simple vandalism were long gone. My new plan was... The bolt didn't look like you could saw through it, but I got this far and I was going to finish it to the end. Deathclaw! Everything has to be a mini game series. I thought. I almost wished it had taken longer. Now the way was clear. Here goes. See a power bar. Rapidly click to succeed. Okay, this is already getting <clears throat> Simultaneously release the bomb clamps in countless blast towers all over Deponia. A button. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Guess that's it. The end of. <coughs> the <coughs> frog in my so throat. Is Rufus. The end of the road for me. Confusing. So Rufus blew up the pony just to set Elysium off in this. What just happened? Time shenanigans. 
Hey, you folks. old amorotic pinhead, act like the thing is not dead and didn't run into a brick wall and fulfilled already. Let me help you fill that gap in memory. Living in the waste was not to your taste, but soon you will gaze truth straight in the face. All rivers run eventually to the sea. At the sage, it's evident there will be no happy end. Suck it up, princess. No one cares for your tears. It's over, and I've no dance to give for second thoughts that you're stuck with. Looking for loopholes and wondering what if. That was a little different than usual. He seems kind of bitter too. It's like they really don't like being dragged back in once they thought they were done, I guess. I don't know. What am I looking at here? It's hard to tell. And there, okay, so it was all a dream. What a nightmare! I was old and had a mustache. All my friends were dead, and Elysium had fallen from the sky. Also, I drew the pony off. God, talk about sick. I mean, a mustache? Really? <laughs> Luckily, everything's the way it was before. I can hardly wait to tell my sweet pony about it. Free wrench. Huh, the fire's gone out. No wonder I was reading about the teapot. So how is the teapot still steaming? Oh, I don't have a don't have my lighter in reality. Bubble wrap. wrap from the post office. What was I gonna do with it again? Eh, whatever. I'll just leave it here until I remember what I wanted it for. But wait, Tony left for Elysium. Where the hell is this? Sweet! The balloon filled with gas while I slept. Now, all I have to do is adjust the flame, and then it's to Elysium and beyond! Tony won't believe her eyes. I better get her crystal glasses back. Not that anything will happen to them. These cryptic signs have been becoming more and more common lately, but for some reason, they always seem to crop up around me. <laughs> Alright. If Tony didn't want her glasses broken, then why did she pile them up like that? Oh, well, there's really not much to do here. What would I tie the rope no, to? No, I've been practicing the lasso number long enough. The next time I throw out a loop, then it'll be to catch something. True. The last thing I need on my balloon is ballast. That stuff is just for looks. The last thing I need on my balloon is ballast. It's one of the things you need. But you actually do need ballast on a balloon. Alright, what am I supposed to do? Shove them over? Time to get to work. No, stop! This seems vaguely familiar somehow. That's exactly the way things happened in my dream. I had forgotten the bubble wrap, and that's when everything went to pieces. Tony was so angry that we broke up. And then I... Uncovered an organ on conspiracy and started a revolution? Well, note to self, stay away from sampling the adhesives before bed. I thought you liked gold. Just let me take the damn bubble wrap the first click. These visions aren't all bad. I should become a prophet. Nina, Nina, let me through. I'm a prophet. <laughs> Hey! Siren. Stop! You can't park here! You... Oh boy, somehow my vision missed this. Bummer. 
Hey, you. Hello? You can't park here. <laughs> Hey, you there! Is this your pile of junk? Please keep away from me. And from me too, for that matter. I'm not even meant to be here. Oh yeah? Well, I couldn't agree more. But since you're here... Who are you, anyway? My name is Irrelevant. Just ignore me. I'd love to, Mr. Irrelevant. Strictly speaking, I'm actually not meant to be talking to you, at least as long as it isn't quite clear whether or not we belong in the same universe. Signs are kind of pointing towards no. Even minor contact is to be avoided at all costs. Do you understand? No contact. <laughs> Socially relevant. Does no contact only apply to me, or to my girlfriend's crystal glasses as well? Oh no! I, I didn't... Did I? Oh yes. While backing into the parking space. Heavens to Betsy! Do you know what that means? I have possibly triggered a catastrophe of apocalyptic proportions! Yeah, Time but traveler. she usually calms down after a couple of days. You misunderstand me. I'm talking about ash, rain, magma flows, perpetual darkness. Yeah, that sounds about right. You've met Tony. Got it. But that doesn't make those glasses whole again. You're right. I must do something. After all, you're the one who ruined them. Let me think. Think faster. There's one possibility, but it would be very dangerous. Yikes! You don't mean... Yes, there's no choice. Don't be a fool. There must be another solution. If there is, I can't think of it. I fear my decision is final. I will... No! Turn back time. <laughs> no! You... What? Oh, I thought you wanted to apologize. But your suggestion sounds better. Good thinking. Bravo. Uh, perhaps you didn't understand me correctly. I said that I'm going to travel back in time. Yep, go ahead. Super plan. But you aren't surprised at all? You must have a million questions, surely. Oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> What's the square root of 237169? 487. But I actually meant another sort of question. One where the solution isn't so obvious, I know. What are you doing there, anyway? I'm looking for time anomalies. Well, you found one. I don't want to brag, but I'm almost a singularity myself. My display begs to differ. Naturally. I'm talking about a time split. That's serious. It's like a split end. In time. Well, my hair is healthy and vigorous. The quantum home is almost boiling. Something terrible has happened, and it might repeat itself in perpetuity. <laughs> you sound like my girlfriend, Tony. What happened to no contact? It's a bit late for that now. The unspeakable has occurred. We can make it unoccur if we follow my plan. Bring rubber boots back into fashion? Nonsense. I mean... <laughs> Are you do that every time? Who are you anyway? My name is McCronicle. I work at Junk Trade University in Porto Rustica. You're a professor? Of what? Stupid hats? My area of expertise is temporal physics. I'm researching anomalies in the fourth axis of space time. Really? Then you can probably answer a time related question for me. Very possibly. When, dear Mr. McComicon? Yes? When? When did I ask you for your life story? Well, what do you mean, turn back time? As I said, I have invented a device which can avoid accidents after they've happened. It saves an image of the space-time before our reverse park. You invented a time machine and used it as a parking assistant? You, Macrona Crispies, are a four-dimensional wuss. Actually, I really shouldn't be using it. Just imagine if this technology were to get into irresponsible <laughs> hands. Yes, that would be bad. Where do I turn this thing on? I should never have come here. A mistake easy to correct. By my turning this crank here? No! Wait! Nino, Nino! 
Grandpa, let me through. I'm a prophet. <laughs> huh? What's this little itch on my fontanelle? Could it be the synaptic sensation of my remembering things that haven't happened yet? You who, Mr. Rufus? Huh? What? Wait a minute. I know you. You're Mr. Macronical. Macronical. But that means you remember? You bet I remember. You're the one who ran over the glasses. Astounding. Not half as astounding as your lousy face furniture. But while we're on the topic of astounding, how the hell is all this possible? Let's talk about that in a minute. Could you help me to park first, please? I don't want to repeat performance of that little episode just now. Not just now. You mean soon. No. It would have been just now, right now. Oh, great. This could turn out to be another one of those days. You ready? Sure. What the hell? Hit it! Um... Stop! You sure? I don't think I'm positioned quite right yet. Is there not a bit more room there? Still lots of room. You hardly moved. Then why are you shouting stop? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Stop! You sure? I don't think. Is there not a bit more room there? Still lots of room. Just you hardly move. Then why are you shouting stop? Yeah, come on. Come on. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Ha! What? Didn't I just see an elephant? Something strange is going on here. Time to stop. Huh? What? Oh no, not again! Alright, this is getting to be a little confusing. Well, did it work? No, you ran over the glasses again. Well, why didn't you shout stop? I was distracted. Um, apropos, you didn't happen to see a pink elephant, did you? Have you been drinking? Strictly speaking, lots, yes. But it doesn't mix with my medication. So it would appear. Yes, my reflexes are way below standard. Otherwise, the elephant would never have gotten away from me. I didn't look like now, a normal pink elephant. Thing hiding? A machine a that does nothing. No wonder it landed in the garbage. Makes ice. Huh. What we need here is a suitable container. It's not nothing. Hey, that looks where I'd put an inverter. A power inverter. Alright. What's this place? What? Vernon has already closed up? Nah, I wanted emergency flares in case my highly flammable <laughs> gas balloon catches fire. Yeah, it's a Rufus plan. Oh, oh, never again. You hear that talk? Never ever again. Oh, who am I kidding? Everything comes back eventually. Ew. <laughs> and there we go. Gross. You can always rely on Tuck to stagger through the village after closing time. Hi, Tuck. And a lovely day to you, too. What day is it today? <laughs> and there's me thinking that I was drunk. Can't you hear the music? It is, of course, Barbecue Thursday. Barbecue Thursday? Which year? Oh, uh, everything okay with you, Rufus? So-so, I had the strangest dream. I met an Elysian, and the two of us saved the pony, just to ultimately blow it up myself. But Barbecue Thursday in Kubat, that would mean none of that ever happened. The floating black market. Bozo, Doc! That just can't be true. My fans are gonna freak if they find out that my adventures never happened. 
one. <laughs> So, everything was a damn dream? Do you know where I can find Tony? She's in Lonzo's bar. Unbelievable that she managed to beat me at down in one. At Lonzo's? That means I have to go through the entire idiot parade. You got a barbecue Thursday hangover too? <laughs> I understand completely. Luckily, one doesn't get asked to square dance with six stuck to one's face. Do you know anything about visions? visions? Me stuff like pink elephants? I always thought that was a bit of a dumb cliche. But there really is one of those about the place today. Yeah, anyone can do pink elephants. I saw the future. Nice for you. Not even and you close. Saw the pink elephant. It's gonna be terrible. Uh, well, you're probably right. I'm dreading tomorrow morning. I saw the pink elephant too. Really? Yep, a real pain in the butt. It keeps distracting me every time I try to save Tony's glasses. That means that I'm not a complete idiot after all. Look, I wouldn't be jumping to any hasty <laughs> conclusions if I were you. So that last Nats kiss was a little off, was it? It's always the last trace of Nats kiss that is worst. Well, maybe you just don't know when it's time to stop. Do you know them? Ha! Huh. I always thought it was when you feel things couldn't get any better. Uh, yeah. Good luck with that, buddy. The pitcher goes up to the mouth until one buckles. Believe me, it's always the last bottle of Nat's Piss that finishes you off. You, you should, should stop. stop. Stopping is not the problem. It's the starting. Will you help me scare the pink elephant off? It's gone already. I don't mean now, but... Earlier. You want me to help you chase away an elephant from your past? <laughs> Been there, done that, got the medal. I got exactly the same problem with my wife, Trudy. My strategy? <laughs> Drink to forget. Well, completely wrong. The trick, in fact, is to remember when time repeats itself. Huh? How am I meant to remember something that hasn't even happened? <laughs> it has Easy. already happened. You yet. just have to, uh, get, uh, yeah. So, uh, how does that actually work? I should probably ask McChronicle about that. You do that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. Stay vertical. Draw me a sketch. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, or subscribe. Or not, I'm not the boss of you. I don't tell you what to do. Good night, everybody.